Hey guys, Leanne here from Kingdom Bloggers. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add overlays on your YouTube videos using the Filmora Wondershare uh, software. So many had been asking like, how do I, if I'm doing say a Bible study and I want the verse to kind of show up on the screen as I'm reading it, or maybe, you know, application points or something like that. But basically you want something here or here to pop up. How do you add that into your videos um, without all kinds of crazy, fancy, advanced software techniques? So if you're using the Wondershare Filmora software program, which is what I use, um, I've really figured out how to do it in a super, super easy way. So let us hop over to, okay, so this is just a random video that I have. I'm actually going to turn the volume down on it so you don't have to hear me because then it'll be kind of weird. Um, let me full screen this. Okay, so the first thing, you'll pull your whole video into it. Of course, you know, do your other edits, of course. So I would probably cut this out here because it's dead space. Now, <clears throat> you will need to create the elements, whatever it is, uh, inside of Canva. And so they can be just static images, like just a single image. You could also do the MP4 where, you know, the text kind of lays out onto the screen if you wanted to. I would probably start simple and go from there. So I'm just going to pull some random images that, are, that I just have on my computer, and I'm going to show you how to add them in. Of course, they mean nothing in relation to this video. They're just for uh, tutorial purposes. So once you've imported your video, you'll then import the slides, the images. So if you had, say, five different slides that have like the verses that you're going to be doing, you would just pull them in. Now, I would do um, portrait style, not landscape like this. So I'm just going to pull these um, here. These are Pinterest images. I think they are 1080 by 1920 or something like that. So you can play around with the sizing, but you can scale them down. You just want to make sure that when you scale them, the text is still readable. And so this is where you may need to play around with it a little bit to get the right sizing and font so that it is actually viewable on the screen. Um, keeping in mind when they're watching it, say on their phone, it's going to be much smaller. So just kind of keep that in mind. So we're just going to click them, we're going to add them, and then it adds them right here. So you're going to scroll to the place where you're going to start reading. So let's say right here, I'm about to start reading a verse, okay? So scroll your little red thingy here to that point. Of course, you can play it to where it gets to the right spot where you want it to pop up. So then you're just going to drag this or hit the plus sign, actually. Nope, that's not what we want to do. We're going to drop it into, we want it to drop into this line, um, this row above the image. We don't want to drop it in line with the video, which is what happened. Now you see when I do that, it puts it right over the screen here. So we're just going to click the actual image on the screen to where it puts this little border around it. And now you can drag it to a more size. Now, one thing you wanna keep in mind when you are recording your video, um, so going forward, now that you know how to do this, something to keep in mind as you're recording the video is, obviously I'm in the center of your screen right now, but if you are going to pop, you know that you're about to add um, an image, a, a snippet of text or whatever you wanna call it, you may just want to kind of move over either way, just to give a little more space for where you're going to add it. It looks okay with me here. Um, so if you don't do it, it's not going to be horrible. It's just the bigger the image, the size for the text font and everything, you may need a little more space. So again, this was a 1080 by 1920. It was just, you know, like a Instagram story size template in Canva. So you can play around with that, maybe make it a little wider or whatever. Um, you could also use ones that have decorative elements in it. And so then you would just play your video. Now I'm reading the, I'm reading the verse. Okay. Now, if I'm still reading the verse here or still talking about it, all you have to do is just 
go back over here and drag it, get it on there, to however long you need it to stay. Now, some other cool things that you could do, so right here, it just pops in. You can add some additional animation to it. So if you come over here on the right, so I think by default, it's on the basic tab. So click over here on animation and you have all these different animations, just like in Canva. So maybe you want it to slide in from the right, right? So it comes in that way. If you want it to fade in, like, well, that's still slide to the right. I think you have to click it twice. There we go. Click the animation twice for it to come up. And so it'll come through and then it'll fade out. And then come over to where you're gonna start speaking again, add your next image with the verse or text on it. And that's pretty much it. You could also add in if you want it like towards the end of the video, if you had like a sticker, um, you can make that sticker inside Canva uploaded in here with as a transparent PNG so it only shows the image. Pop it in to say subscribe. You could do MP4 ones. Um, so this is how you would add those into the video at different points. Um, so that, especially if you're doing Bible study and you want to have the text on the screen. I know a lot of people have been asking about that. So this is a super, super simple way to get that added. But also this is how you would add other types of stickers and words and things like that. So um, if you have any questions, again, this is using the Wondershare Filmora app. I'm sure there's other other ones that people are using. This just happens to be the one that I'm using. And I know a few people in my group are using it. So um, for those of you that asked, here's your tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, let me know, drop your comments below or hop over to my Facebook group as usual. Please be sure to like this video and follow us here if you're not already. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.